Welcome back. In this video, let's discuss about traffic analysis of iOS applications. Most of the apps that we see from App Store use HTTP and HTTPS communications. So basically we can use any HTTP proxy and view the traffic and we can play with the traffic. All we have to do is we need to redirect applications traffic to a proxy to like burp suite. So that's what we are going to see now. If HTTPS is used in the app, we will have to install burp's root CA so that burp proxy will be trusted by the device and it will allow the app to make SSL communications with burp proxy, right? And in some cases, we will have to deal with SSL pinning. In this module, we are going to discuss only HTTP and HTTPS communications without SSL pinning. In the next module, we are going to bypass SSL pinning as well. Now, before we proceed with lab exercise for this traffic analysis section, make sure that you download secure store server OVA file and install it in VirtualBox. You will just have to go to file and import and make sure that the network connection is set to bridged mode so that your app can communicate with this virtual machine. I have already done that. Just go ahead and import the server and find out the IP address of secureStoreServer.ova. The vulnerable apps are designed in a way that you can configure the server's IP address within the app. So let me show you how we can do that. The application is installed here, SecureStoreV1. Now let me tap on the icon and let's launch the application. Now if you see this top right corner in the application, there is a settings icon. We can just tap on that and let's enter the IP address of your server. That's it. That's the configuration that you need for this application to communicate with your server. Just make sure that your laptop and the server are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and they can ping each other. Now I'm just submitting the IP and once that is done, all you have to do is tap on this about us to verify that the connection is working. If your connection is working, you should see this output on this page. This is loaded from the server. If you are not seeing this, there is an issue with your connection, right? So this confirms that we are able to communicate with the server. Now to intercept the traffic of this application, we will need two things. One, an intercepting proxy on this laptop. And this laptop should also be on the same network as the phone and the secure store server because we want to intercept the traffic on this laptop. So first, go ahead and download Burp Suite and launch it. In my case, I have already downloaded that. So I'm launching Burp Suite Community Edition. And let's start a temporary project. And let's click on Start Burp. And once this is done, we should see something like this. And the first thing that we need to do is go to proxy options and change this interface to all interfaces or, we, or you can also specify an IP address that you have. For instance, 192.168.0.103 is what I can specify in this case. Okay, I'm just choosing all interfaces and let's click okay. Yes, and there you go. Now navigate to intercept on and let me once again slightly adjust the burp screen so we can see both burp suite as well as the device screen okay now what i'm going to do is i will go to my wi-fi settings settings app wi-fi and tap on the network you are connected to and scroll down and you should see configure proxy at the bottom just tap on that and choose manual and let's set up the IP address of the laptop where this burp suite is running. So as I have shown you earlier, in this case, it is 192.168.0.103. So let's do that, 192.168.0.103. And the port that is used by burp suite is 8080. So let's just Close this, go to intercept tab and let's click on save. So from here, we should be able to intercept the traffic of the application. Let's launch it. 
Now there is an option to sign up so you can basically create a new account for you. There is a default account as well which is secure store secure store. So I'm going to use that secure store secure store. I have entered both the username and password. Let's tap on this sign in button and make sure that the intercept is set to on on the laptop. Look at that. I have tapped on sign in button and I'm able to see the request that is being sent from this application. If you look at this, the host is 192.168.1.79 and this is exactly what we have configured earlier. Now, as you can see, the username and password are being sent in a get request. So that's the first problem that we have already identified in this application. Okay, let's forward this request and look at that. We have logged in. Now, let's tap on this view profile. Nice, it is making another request. And if you see this, this is sending a token to the server. And let's see what happens if we forward this. That's nice. It is fetching something from the server and it is displaying it for us on the app. Okay, so this is the next functionality. And the next feature that the app has is to save some details in the local storage using save bank details and we can also retrieve those details by entering the email id as the key okay that's pretty much it we can just log out and we can uh, use the sign up button to sign up for an account or we can tap on this about us to see what request is being sent to the server and that's pretty much it with the app this is how we can intercept HTTP traffic in an application. Now, if any app on this device makes an HTTPS connection, we won't be able to intercept the traffic using burp speed by default. Now, let's see how we can intercept the traffic of HTTPS connections that are made from an application on this device. Let's first verify if we can make HTTPS connections by opening a browser and accessing apple.com. If you see this by default, this browser is showing us an error, presents us a certificate error and we will have to confirm that we are okay to proceed. This is what happens when we try to intercept HTTPS requests. Now to be able to see the HTTPS requests, we will have to install burps root CA. That can be done by using HTTP slash slash burp just access this and it shows something like this and tap on ca certificate and it is going to download a configuration profile for us allow and it says profile downloaded now let's go to settings general profiles and device management and let's install this profile we'll have to enter the pin and let's tap on install. Okay, now it has been downloaded. Now let's once again, try to open Safari and access any HTTPS website. As you can see, this time we did not get any certificate errors. This is how we can intercept HTTPS traffic from applications. So if an application is making any HTTPS traffic, we will be able to intercept that after installing burps root CA. And once after being able to intercept the traffic, we can play with the traffic to find out some server side vulnerabilities or force the client to do something that it is not supposed to do and stuff like that. We are going to see some attacks on the server side in this course by attacking some of the server-side functionalities that are used by our vulnerable application.